a balloon is rising at a constant speed of five feet per second. A child is cycling along a straight road at a speed of 15 feet per second. When the child passes under the balloon, the balloon, so it, by it I mean the balloon, is exactly 45 feet above them, above the child. How fast is the distance between the child and the balloon increasing three seconds later? So again, let's start with the sketch. And if we can imagine a balloon floating up in the sky, it would be going in this direction. And if a kid is on the, the ground cycling, they're gonna be going in this direction. So you can bet this is gonna look like a triangle. So let's start with our triangle. There we are. And here's the kid on their bike, just going forward. That's the best kid I can draw on a bike. And when the kid was here, we're told that the balloon was 45 feet above them. But we'll get to that information later. For now, we need this sketch. And I'm going to label this X, Y, and Z. So let's look at what we're given. Or actually, first, let's start with our goals in the last problem. How fast is the distance between the child and the balloon increasing? Three seconds later. So the distance between the balloon and the child is here. Z. So our goal is find dz over dt when t equals three seconds. And I apologize for the weird shakiness of the, my um, pen. I can't get a replacement for my Apple tip pen right now and it's like really on its way out. So I'm doing my best. So um, I apologize for the shaky writing at the moment. So what are we given? We're given a couple pieces of information. We're given that the child is cycling along a straight road at a speed of 15 feet per second, and the child is going in the x direction. So we're given that dx over dt is equal to 15 feet per second. All right, what else are we given? The balloon is rising at a constant speed of 45 feet per second. It's not 45, five feet per second. And the balloon is moving in the z, or sorry, the y direction. So we're also given dy over dt. So let's write that down. Now, if we have a triangle, how can we relate all these things? And namely, we have a right triangle. So we can relate all these things using the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that x squared plus y squared equals z squared. So let's use implicit differentiation again. And we will get... 2x times dx over dt plus 2y times dy over dt plus 2z, oh, not plus, excuse me, equals 2z times dz over dt. So let's match up what we're given and what we have. We know what dx dt is, so that's here. We know what dy dt is, that's here. And this is our goal, to find dz over dt. Now, everything is multiplied by 2, so we can easily divide that out and be left with x times dx over dt plus y times dy over dt plus z, not plus, I keep doing that, equals z times dz over dt. Okay, so I'm going to hide, actually, I'll wait to hide till we do one last part. Well, what is x? What is y? What is z? So let's think about this. After three seconds, and this would be finding x. And why am I finding x? Because I have this x here, and I'm not given x. I'm given dx dt, but not x. So to find x after three seconds, the child has gone how far? Well, let's think of how do you compute the distance traveled? You multiply the rate times the time. So rate times time, we have 15 feet per second times three seconds. So we get that the child is, and if, if you notice the seconds cross out, so 45 feet away. So this distance here is 45 feet. All right, now let's find y. Now, 
Now this one's a little more complicated. I'm gonna draw another sketch to find why. Basically, we wanna know how high the balloon is after three seconds. So of course we need rate times time. So we need five feet per second times three seconds, and that's 45 feet. Excuse me, not 45, five times three is 15. But we're missing one other piece of information and for that I'll draw another triangle. We were told that when the, the child, actually I'm trying to draw a balloon here, let me draw a balloon up here. So when the child was directly under the balloon on their bike, so they passed under this balloon at some point, they were 45 feet above, so 45 feet. That's how far apart the balloon was from the child. So the child is now out here, and in that amount of time, the balloon has traveled another 15 feet. So we need add, to add this 15 feet plus this 45 feet to get the total distance the balloon has traveled upward. So again, the child was here at zero seconds, and the balloon was 45 feet up. At three seconds, the child is here and the balloon has now traveled a little bit higher. So this total distance is the balloon height. So we need to add that. So let's add 15 feet plus 45 feet to get 60 feet. Wonderful, so now I know that X is 45 and Y is 60. So let me put this here. Finally, let's find what Z is. And now I'm gonna hide this upper portion since I think we've at least used this information as much as we can and we need more space. So to find Z, again, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We have x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Well, we know that x is 45, y is 60, and the sum of those squares equals z squared. So doing a little algebra, we end up with z equals the square root of 45 squared plus 60 squared. And now popping that into your calculator, you should get z equals 75 feet. So this distance here is now 75 feet. And again, these distances are at exactly t equals three seconds. So I'm gonna put that right in the middle to make it clear that t equals three seconds. Because of course, as time goes on, the boy's gonna go further away. This distance is gonna change, this distance is gonna change. So it's almost like the triangle is like expanding as the kid rides their bike. But at three seconds, we're exactly here. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay I think that cough is totally out of me so now we can pop everything we know in here so x we have is 45 so let's write that in so we have 45 that's our x dx over dt is 15 so that's here Plus y, y is 60, that's right here, and that's gonna go here. And then finally, well not finally, we have a few more things, dy over dt is five, so let's put that here. And the last piece of information we just found is that z is equal to 75, so that's gonna go on the other side of the equal sign, times dz over dt. So again, we can do some algebra here. And that tells us that dz over dt, so this is um, the change in the distance between the boy and the balloon, or sorry, the child and the balloon over time, is dz over dt. And that was our goal. That's what we wanted to find originally. And this equals 45 times 15 plus 60 times 5 divided by 75. And that will work out to be 13 feet per second. And I'm gonna make a little space so I can write our conclusion. 
um, the distance between the child and the balloon. is increasing at a rate of 13 feet per second. At T equals three seconds.